know what's up, yo. I was wondering if you can help me on this math problem for, for Mr. Jabs. Yo, what's it's up? worth eight percent of our grade. Eight percent. And that my my math student Vanessa Flores can do it, and that's because she's a math whiz. That's pretty smart. Let me take a look at it. Two hours later. So you can't help me? Yeah, honestly, I don't even like math. My favorite class is Spanish. I don't know how much I can help with this excessively complex problem. Why don't we just ask the mega math master, Mr. Jabs, tomorrow? I need to know this before the final! Two thousand years later. Oh my god, are you guys still working on that math problem? Yes, I think Mr. Jabs is the only person in this world who can solve this problem. Well, him and John Nash, but... Well, there is one other way. I recently found out that I have a long lost sister, and when we met last year in my little village in Mexico, she handed me this like special item that she said belonged to the ancient Aztecs. Oh my god. How is that going to help us? Just wait. The special item is an ancient mineral called Ikinagagala that is said to bring back a maximum of three people from the dead, but only for 24 hours. I feel we could use this to bring back some scholarly mathematicians to give us a hand. Are you all willing to try? Why would I believe such a preposterous story? Just wait a second, Omar. That actually sounds plausible. After all, the axes were, were excellent astronomers, physicists, and mathematicians. Of course, wow, Omar, you just got jabbed. Yeah! All right, let's give it a go. All right, Omar. I guess um, we should stand together and uh, around this mineral and try to summon Rene Descartes. No, no, no. We need an English speaker. Um, in order to get a woman's input, how about we we bring back Emmy Noether? English speakers, fine. But I want to hear a hot British accent. So why don't we bring Isaac Newton? Oh my god, I'm so excited. Okay, Vanessa, that sounds pretty good. But I think Einstein should be brought, uh, brought back too because I think his brain and my brain are very similar. Okay, let's try it. Well, that didn't even work. Fine. Let's go get lunch and try again later. Twelve seconds later. Ah, uh, where, where am I? Ah, look at the hair. Oh, shut up, Newton. Go look some apples. Piss off. Hey, you two, stop. Stop fighting. You guys, look. Uh, give me that. I'm muted. I can solve any problem. No, I think we should solve this problem together. I agree. It's usually a safe bet to start working on the side that appears more complicated. In this case, that would be the left-hand side. Since sine theta is common in both terms of the numerator, we can factor it out. For the denominator, we are going to take cosine theta common when factoring. Since tan theta equals sine theta divided by cosine theta, we can separate this from the main area of the left-hand side. We can also write negative sine squared theta minus sine squared theta, since this is the equivalent of negative 2 sine squared theta. For the denominator, we can change 2 cosine squared theta to its equivalent cosine squared theta plus cosine squared theta. Now, we all need to take a second to remember our Pythagorean identities. For the sake of this problem, we'll be using elements from two identities to solve this proof. Our objective is to prove that everything in the left-hand side other than tangent must equal 1. We know that 1 minus sine squared theta equals cosine squared theta. Therefore, we can change this section of the numerator to cosine squared theta. For the denominator, 
we switch the order of the negative 1 and the cosine squared in order to prepare for factoring in the denominator. Now, we'll keep tan theta and the numerator of this fraction the same. We'll draw our attention towards the denominator of this fraction for now. Since a negative times a negative equals a positive, we can factor out the negative 1 from the denominator. Again, we'll keep tan theta and the numerator of this fraction the same. Now remember, since 1 minus cosine squared theta equals sine squared theta, we can say cosine squared theta minus sine squared theta for the denominator. This results in a cancellation. Overall, with tan theta derived from the left-hand side, we are left with definitive proof that the left-hand side equals the right-hand side. Essentially, tan theta equals tan theta. Great job, mathematicians. Keep up the excellent, outstanding, amazing work.